Hey, little fish. It is the 13th of July, Friday the 13th, 2018. And this was not my intention to basically go back into anything to do with NASA and space and, you know, all of this stuff. But this is just beyond, this is beyond the pale. This is... This tells me, I mean, this is really tweaking my spirit, what I'm seeing here, okay? Now, let me just try and explain what I'm talking about here. This is uh, Times of Israel, okay? And I have two articles that are linked together that I want to show you. This one came out yesterday. It's Israel's Ladder to Space, okay? Wow, what an unbelievable announcement in the last day that Israel's planning a lunar landing from aboard a SpaceX rocket. Israel is going to join the club of only three of the countries to ever land anything on the moon. Okay? How does a little country like Israel reach the moon? You don't. It's What I'm seeing here is part of Second Thessalonians. And the reason I say that is because when I was reading these earlier today and how they are literally invoking scripture and injecting scripture into this lie that just that's all i needed to see so i asked you know for confirmation is this what i'm seeing is this part of this luciferian agenda and what's going on essentially because there's so many things that i'm seeing connected to this it's just crazy okay they say jacob's ladder i say jacob's trouble but I asked for a, for a confirmation, and I got 2 Thessalonians 3.16 was what I got for a verse. So I was inclined. I just wanted to go and read the entirety of 2 Thessalonians. And if we read in 2 Thessalonians 2 in particular, we see he's talking about Christ's return. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there become a falling away first. In that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth in all those things. Now ye see what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he it be taken out of the way. Then shall the wicked be revealed. Okay, The Lord will consume with his mouth. Okay, Even him, whose coming is after the works of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders these are big things and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for this cause god shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie meaning this lie and now we have israel getting in on this shell game this little deceit festival that they've been having for 500 years so a spider-like craft is going to be shot to the moon and so i go to nasa only because it's just part of the whole thing that i do right jamming with the spiders from mars happens to be one of their lead articles for today today and Israel's about to send a spider-like craft. I thought that was quite coincidental. And so I'm getting confirmation after confirmation is what I'm saying. And if we get into any of the numbers that are involved in this, it's, it's crazy. They intend to land this thing on February 13th of next year, 213. That's an important number. Okay, there's some really, really strong numbers in all this too. I mean, we can go over everything, but I won't. I mean, I just see things like this. That's all. You know, the 21 comments, 777. We can do stuff with all of these things. The 13 and the time stamp on it. The 213 directly relates to 231, which are the paths of the Sefer Yetzirah. This is how that system works. It's all the magic and the sorcery. And this is what they believe will enable them to achieve their victory do you understand the synagogue of satan runs israel people 
Okay, if you refuse to believe what your Bible says about where you live, that's fine. But this is telling me that that may factor in to your salvation. Because if you believe this lie, okay, don't forget, he's, God's taking away, okay, with that, with, that which withholdeth, okay? And he's going to send a strong delusion so that they should believe a lie. This is a big deal. You have to understand that this is part of the big lie. Okay? Now Israel's in on it, of all places, and they're invoking Scripture into it, people. I mean, even the Scripture. Genesis 28, 7, 7, 7, 7. Verses 10 through 17. Seven verses. Number 17. 17 is the 153. It's also victory overall. And... This is just the craziness that I'm showing you, okay? They they released this article here on the Moonlander, okay, on the 10th, just a couple days ago. July 10th, right? Now, you just got to understand how this comes to me and how I see this from the time. Now, I got to I got to show you something here that they just love to talk about Apollo 11. The idea, this whole idea that they're deceiving everybody with, these billionaire synagogue of Satan characters, okay, is to inspire the youth. Of course, we go after the youth of Israel now to take up science, sorcery, magic studies, and have the impact that Apollo had in 1969 when astronauts landed not on the moon with people remembering forever where they were on that day. You understand? The whole world was deceived on that day. They, they deceived everybody through their TV magic. Deceived the world. That was the biggest delusion that has been perpetrated on humankind up until that point. Well, they've got something bigger in mind. But so does God, okay? So from the time they released this article, okay, going back to Apollo, the grand illusion. This is just the craziest stuff that I find, you guys. And it just comes, that's all. That's the day that they touch down on the moon, July the 20th, which, by the way, happens to fall on the eve of Tisha B'Av, what I refer to as the Jewish 9-11 is July 21st. So from that time until the release of that article is 17,888 days. There is a total double message here. Satan is claiming his victory. He's claiming to be above all things that are worshipped and above God. The 888. And it's also telling the believer that this is true. Jesus has the victory already in the bag. You need only turn to him and ask him for the truth. Because if you believe the lie, okay, I'm telling you, it's not good for you that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. And I do not know that, you know, the whole space thing is that lie. But I'll tell you, when this pit opens, and I'm, that's going to happen. This, this whole thing with the locus of the pit is not an accident. And these people walk hand in hand. And now Israel's joined the club. The NASA club, if you will. You understand? Synagogue of Satan. These guys are actors, more or less. Magicians, sorcerers. It's just unbelievably off the hook. But for that to be, you know, 17,888 days from the Apollo 11, the pit, Apollyon. Now, what are they going to tell you? When they open that pit, what comes out may very well be a deception in and of itself to some people, to the believers, or they may tell people they're aliens. And if you're believing in the heliocentric, you know, blah, 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 that your Bible clearly tells you the earth is solid, it's firm, it does not move on a foundation, and is under a firmament. It is, 
if you can't believe that, I'm talking to the believers who just keep dissing the whole biblical earth. It's it's ridiculous, it's childish, but it's going to get you in big, big trouble if you don't drop to your knees and seek the truth about this stuff. And I only say that because there's going to be a great delusion. And it's more than likely going to have a lot to do with space. Okay? That's all I can tell you. It comes upon me to show you this stuff. There's a ton more that we could go over. I'm going to link this. you got to read this article. They plan on landing it exactly on February 13th, 2.13. Okay? 2.31, the paths of the Sephir yet zero. 2.13, 71 times 3, the 71, 17. I wish I could explain this stuff, but what it is is deceit. You're seeing deceit through men. You're only going to find truth through the Word of God and the Holy Spirit. So you need to put on the absolute full armor so that you do not believe a lie in these people. I hope that makes sense. I truly do. So there you go. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 